Well, hello 3E. This is actually going to follow along with the, uh, the first lesson that you had uh, on um, bank banking and banking transactions. Uh, if it looks a little different for today, it's because I'm recording this at school instead of at home. So I'm using different software, different computer, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to look at a specific checking account. Now, yesterday you researched, or last um, lesson, you researched uh, some different checking accounts. Now I'm going to give you one that's specific here, and we're going to do a few calculations to see if we can figure out what the transactions are going to be or how much it's going to cost us. So this says a checking account allows eight self-serve and five full-serve transactions, and if you go over the allowable transaction, the fees are as follows. There's, um, here, I'm going to get a highlighter here. Uh, we got a self-service fee of five dollars, or sorry, that's fifty cents, and a full service fee of a dollar. Now, when I say full service fee, a full service fee is a cashier. You go into, not a cashier, a teller. You go into the teller, you actually go into a bank building. The self-service fee is Interact, um, or an ATM or online banking of some sort, or anything like that. That's the kind of things I mean by the self-serve. Um, now, here's an interesting one. An ATM that isn't associated with the bank is $1.25. So I'm going to highlight that, too. Um, a dollar, whoops, actually, I'm going to move it around. Okay, uh, It's been a while since I used a smart board. $1.25 plus whatever transaction fee was associated with it. Um, and when I say an ATM that isn't associated with your bank, uh, that means that, say, your bank account is in CIBC and you go to a TD Canada Trust bank machine. They're going to charge you $1.25. And it depends on some um, different uh, bank machines charge different amounts of money. We've kind of simplified that for you. A bank machine will always tell you how much money it's going to charge you before it actually charges you that, and it gives you the option of not making the purchase if you uh, uh, don't want to pay that fee. So example one, Lindsay performed the following transactions in one month. She visited a teller three times. Is that allowed? Let's have a look. This said that she's allowed to visit, um, she's allowed five full serve. So she visited a teller three times. So for that, there's going to be no charge because that's allowed. So she used a debit card 15 times. So these are all the self-serve things. She used a debit card 15 times. That's actually, that's definitely gone over her eight self-serve. So we're going to have to make some calculations here. So <clears throat> if she used a debit card 15 times, there's 15 transactions. She used her bank's ATM twice. That's two more transactions. Um, she used another bank's ATM three times. That's three more transactions. So in total, she's done 20 transactions. So since she's made 20 transactions, she has gone over that eight. So if you take a look back at what we had up here, she was allowed eight self-serve, and she did 20. So how many over has she gone? Well, you can make that um, subtraction. So you say the amount over. Let's actually write this down. Amount of transactions. Uh, we're going to write down that 15 plus 2 plus 3 from the question, which means she's got 20 transactions. And the amount over is going to be those uh, the transactions minus the allowed, which in this case is going to be 20 transactions minus the eight allowed or 12 transactions. Now, each time she goes over on a self-serve, if you look back up at what we talked about here, every time she goes over on a self-serve, she owes 50 cents. So 50 cents, I'm going to say charge for self-serve. equals 50 cents, 0 0.50, times 
uh, transactions. Transactions over. So how many transactions over? Well, she was 12 over, so I have to do 50 cents times 12. So that means that she owes $6 for those extra transactions. If you're going to make a lot of transactions in a month, you need to look for a bank account that allows you um, an unlimited number. Like you might pay a service fee uh, of $13 and then that allows you unlimited transactions. And those are more and more common now uh, than they used to be. Now she had uh, the other instant teller in there. So the ATM charge equals $1.25 and how many were associated with another bank? Three. Now she used the ATM five times, but only three of those times were actually um, at another bank. So she only has to do that three times. And so that's $3.75. And so we just add them up. We say total is going to equal $6 plus 375 which equals nine seventy five. So she owes nine dollars and seventy five cents. Okay, now we're gonna do one more example here. Uh, example two, Brandon performed the following transactions in one month. He paid five bills online, he used a debit card eight times, he used his bank's ATM twice, and he used another bank's ATM three times. Now all of these, every single one of these are self serve. Self serve. So we don't have to worry about any of the full serve stuff. Um, he's allowed the full serve ones, but he's only allowed eight self serve. So how many self serve have we got here? We've got five, eight, um, two, and three. So total transactions uh, and I'm going to put in brackets here self serve because they're all self serve. Uh, the total number of transactions self-served are 5, 8, 2, and 3, which is going to be 15 transactions. Now remember, he's only allowed 8. So the transactions over, I'm just going to say trans over, equals 15 minus 8. And remember, the 8 was the amount that was allowed, according to the, um, according to the terms of service on there. So amount over is 7. So now to figure out the charge, remember, for self-serve, it's 50 cents per transaction. So the charge um, for self-serve... will equal 50 cents times the number of times we use self-serve that was um, over. So this is the trans over, the transactions that are over the allowed amount. And 50 cents times 7 is $3.50. Now, was there anything else that he had here? Yes, he used another bank's ATM three times. So the other ATM charge... The other ATM is $1.25 every time you use another ATM. So he used that ATM three times, so we have to times that by three. So that's $3.75. Now, total here. What are all of the things we're adding up here? I got a lot of numbers here. Uh, oh, I also got a funny little design down here. Okay, I've got a lot of numbers here, but to find my total... Um, I'm just looking for what he's being charged. So let's take a look here. Uh, total trans serve. Okay, this is not money, so I'm not adding that. Trans over, again, this is not money, so I'm not adding that. Charge for self-serve. There's money. This, this here is money, so I need the 350. And for the charge for the other ATM, this is money too, so that's 375. So my total, I'm going to take 350 and add 375 because he had two different charges here. He had the charge for all the self-serve transactions and he had the charge for using another bank's ATM. 
So that's six dollars, nope, sorry, that's seven dollars and twenty-five cents is his total charge. Okay, and you have a few questions just like that to do.